day viewers you're welcome to another edition of site ed site ed is an educational program designed to entertain and to educate um, every one of us on issues related to eye health our joint business is preserving vision and restoring sight uh, today we also going to be um, looking at low vision Low vision aspect of eye care is important to every one of us because there are some certain diseases that we might not be able to restore vision fully but we want to be able to enhance the remaining vision so that individuals affected can live a normal or close to normal functional life. All right, to do justice to this topic today, We've also gone to interview an expert in the provision of low vision. Um, our guest today that we interviewed is Professor Falasha De Akinshala. I'm sure you're going to learn a lot, a lot by the time you listen to the interview. And we hope that many of the things we're learning at this program, you can be of help to tell other people in your environment, in your family, so that everyone can be a beneficiary of this program. And of course, we're going to go on in the second aspect to also continue watching that film on You Are My Eye. Uh, that film, it's a film on contract and it's basically set out to enlighten and educate us in plain language all we need to know about cataract is effect on our lives and how we need to take care if someone has cataract. So enjoy yourself. And please don't forget, we keep expecting as you've been doing, questions, comments, interactions on all our social media. And um, thank you for sending your questions and comment. And we'll keep responding to them as much as possible. My name is Fala Shadebolanle Akinshola. I'm a consultant ophthalmologist with the Lagos University Teaching Hospital and a professor of ophthalmology with the College of Medicine, University of Lagos, uh, University of First Choice, and the Nation's Pride. Um, low vision can be explained, not quite defined, to say that individual who naturally cannot move about by themselves or read as it were when they hold written, reading materials, they can be categorized as people with low vision. And if we can stretch it a little bit further, they are in the category of where glasses can readily not help them. As long as we advance in age and we get to old age, we have many people with low vision. Some people are blessed because they can still see even when they advance to the age of 80, 90 but with the aid of glasses. But there are some that, even with glasses, the natural or the recommended glasses, they cannot see. And we can see they, these are the aged, those who are really elderly. And it can start as early as from the age of 60. And depending on the type of conditions or eye disorders they suffer from. I'll mention some of these eye diseases, which I'm sure some of my colleagues have enumerated upon. First of all, the commonest is cataract, and it is either called cowrie of the eye or whitish speck in the eye, which is observed when you are advancing age or when you have other systemic conditions of the body like diabetes and even injury to the eye may cause cataract. The second one is called glaucoma, and we ophthalmologists 
actually try to uh, water it down for the masses to say that is it see for the eye or the hypertension of the eye where you have increased pressure in the eye and this one has a characteristic of not being solely due to one factor it is multifactorial it runs in families and it can be due even to injury this condition is much more virulent than cataract and majority of the people that suffer from it they end up with low vision because they don't present early we could also have people with diabetes mellitus suffer from low vision by the time the complications of the retina set in when there's bleeding into the eye or the optic nerve which is the nerve of vision is affected they also end up with low vision we also have conditions which affect the nerve of vision which we call optic nerve when this nerve is affected and it becomes white which we refer to as optic atrophy the individual also ends up with low vision we have an area of the eye that is called the macula and is the most what you can call acute area of vision at the back of the eye once anything happens to that area the individual also suffers from low vision and the conditions that can affect the macula to give us even this condition include the diabetes mellitus it includes macular edema some people who love to gaze into the sun if they are not protected the eyes are not well protected they also end up in macular burn which also results in low vision so different conditions that may affect the macula in relation to age too which we call age related macular degeneration can also result in low vision so we have varieties of conditions that can give you low vision even in children if they suffer injury and they have severe affectation of the macula or the optic nerve they end up with low vision not to talk of complications of cataract and glaucoma from the injury which also can result in low vision so we have varieties of conditions that can give us low vision but the one that is very important because we all pray to live to old age is those that are related to aging which you must continuously advise individuals on that when you are old and you find that your vision is not as sharp as it used to be then don't give up because there are ways that we can improve vision in such individuals we can use what is called low vision aids which are available in different teaching hospitals and there are other experts that actually specialize in treating of low vision there are special glasses that people can wear and can help them to see better when they have low vision there are other changes that you can do in your surroundings that can make you even at least adapt to that condition that you find yourself so that you don't give up supposing you are in the home you can make the area brighter with light have enough brightness in the home if that is not helpful you can change the color of some area to make it brighter so that individual also can appreciate especially for our mothers who work in the kitchen especially like they want to pick rice or pick beans we can have different color to actually make their trees so that they can see the rice and the beans they are picking to be much more prominent and then you have those who use guide dogs especially those who have actually kind of uh, progressed to blindness they can use dogs they can use sticks and even at that they have walking or talking research that can help them different even what you can call communication gadgets that can be used you have uh, cctv that they can use that can magnify were letters and also that can help them to actually read and see better all these areas of correction are available but people need to know where they can go for it 
and most of the teaching hospitals have ideas even if they don't know or they don't have the facility they know where to refer the patient so patients or the community should not keep quiet if they have people who are suffering from low vision they can easily contact the teaching hospital or any hospital around from there they can get information on how they can get treated for individual or patients that have been diagnosed with various eye disorders they need to be treated first for that condition and if after that condition which may include cataract glaucoma uh, age-related macular degeneration it can use diabetic retinopathy they can now be offered the low vision devices that can help them to see better but it must be stressed that the conditions must be treated first low vision is not the first uh, treatment they will receive it is after they've been treated for all that conditions that they can now be referred to the low vision expert or specialist to treat them I'm aware that at least I can say categorically of four teaching hospitals that offer these services. And uh, I know at Lucia we offer the services, University College Hospital, but they offer the services. Calabar, University of Calabar Teaching Hospital will offer the services. National High Center offer the services. I um, cannot mention the other hospitals because I don't have that data with me. For those teaching hospitals, they have the services. I will put it at, at average cost. It's not cheap and it's not very, very expensive. But until you come and you are examined, you know exactly the type of low visual aid that can be prescribed for you. But they can be ordered even if they're not available at those centers so my advice is individual with low vision should not condemn themselves to a total life of darkness there is available treatment but they need to seek treatment Alright, you've heard so much about low vision services and these services are readily available to everyone who might be in need of them. So we don't have to live in despair if glasses, surgery have not been able to give maximum visual rehabilitations. Meaning there's always hope. We can always make living meaningful and that is the major aim of low vision aids. So we do hope that as many that are in need of these services will visit the nearest eye hospital next to them to find out about availability of the service and to avail themselves um, of this service so that we all can live a meaningful life. All right, so we're going to watch um, the next segment of the film, You Are My Eye. I do hope that you will watch closely and learn as much as you ought to on Cataract. I don't see him. Hey! What's it, Edia? Ah! This is why I'm not told. Hello. Hello. Me, I'm going to remove him. No, 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 no. Yay! Oh, wow. Uh. Yay! Ah, ah, ah. Hola Kunde. Ah. Pele pele o Hola Kunde. Sorry. Sorry. Hola Kunde. Sorry. 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 Thank you. Sorry sir. Thank you. Hola Kunde. Pele pele. I'll be fine. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Is he a blind man? Yes, he's blind. Ah. Hmm. Sorry. I think we should be visiting the villages because I observed that there are so many unreached blind people there. What do you think? Dr. 
Dr. Martins. We are specialists working in specialist hospitals. Yes. Patients are supposed to come here to meet us, not the other way around. I quite support what Dr. Bayo said. How many villages are we to visit? I guess you are right, yeah. but it won't work. Abis, I have come for two reasons. The first one is to appreciate you for accommodating us in the palace the other time that we got stranded on our way to Ilebu village. <laughs> it's all right, that's all right. Kabisi, thank you so much. Oh, it's all right. May your reign be long. So, I have come to seek for your permission to come to this village to treat your people who are having eye problems. Hmm. Doctor, you are right. We have so many blind people in this village. Mm -hmm. In fact, the common problem that we are having now is red eyes problem. Apollo mm -hmm. is even affecting my olori. Yes, KBS. There is nothing we have not used. We have used alum. Yes. Ah, we have used breast milk mm -hmm. and even camphora. But the thing ah. is just spreading like a matter of fire. Abi? Mm -hmm. uh, what's up? You are rather too late. One eye specialist came into this village some days ago and I've been told that he, he has solved all the problems. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good news, Kabisi. Mm. I am very glad to hear that. But um, what is the name of that eye specialist? But mm. mm. what's even the name? Uh, he called himself. One malam. One malam. Uh -huh. One malam. Abisi, you mean you allow someone you don't know to treat your people of their high problems? Kabisi, uh -huh. uh -huh. what's the problem? Kabisi, there is problem in the town. Uh -huh. Problem? Yes, Kabisi. Most people are. Uh, Complaining of what? Of pain as a result of the treatment given by by the uh, eye specialist. Uh, you mean the traditional uh, healer? Yes, Kabesi. Uh, How the, the the demand is is no no where to be found, Kabesi. Uh, uh, Kabesi. Uh, 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 this one again. That be easy. Uncle Day. What's the problem? The specialist, that be easy. The man who to the village. You mean the high specialist? That be easy. This is unacceptable. I beg you. Sorry, daughter. My only daughter, that be easy. That be easy. This is unacceptable. The cottage. I will come and see them. We are going to get solve the problem. Let's go. 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 let us go let us go let us you see, 80% of all blinding diseases in our environment are avoidable. Yes, they are either preventable or curable. Okay, go on. Start treating our people. Solve this problem now. Ah, oh. ah, KBAC. KBAC. Ah, are you so sure that this man is competent? Ah. Ah. Doctor, hmm. where are your particulars? Hmm. Ah, KBC, we are also knowledgeable. People cannot just come here and use us for practicals. Enough yeah. of this. <laughs> but uh, KBC, do we have other choice? Eh? Do we have other choice now? Eh? 
Hey. Uh, I am very sorry to cut in. I think your people are right. If at all we must allow anybody to treat your people eye problem, then they must be people that you know are qualified and competent. Yes, mm. that is what I'm saying. Mm. I am Dr. Matthias. Kavies, cancel up. I greet you, Kavies. I greet you. I greet you. I greet you. I greet you. Doki. Cancel up. Doki. Doki. Cancel up. So you know him. Kavies. I know him. He's an eye specialist from one of these government clinics. In fact, he has treated me and my mother a couple of times. As you can see, the gods of the land have solved the problem. You came in at the right time. I called that we now go to the village and announce to everybody with eyes problem to come to the palace for their eyes problem to be solved by the automatics. <laughs> Once again, I greet everybody. Mm. Oh, we we'll greet you. Um, cataracts that we'll be talking about today is the commonest cause of blindness. It is called Toroju in Yoruba. Nyana in Ausa. Orianya in Igbo. Now, the length is the transparent part of the eyes. And it allows us to see clearly. Just as transparent as this. Now, when it is turned milky, as in when starch is being mixed, just like this. Then it prevents us from seeing. There are many causes of cataracts. It could be caused as a result of aging. It could be as a result of injury to the eyes. It could be as a result of diabetes mellitus. Now, that is just to mention a few. The question now is, how can we be eyes of one another? We can be eyes of one another by always looking at the eyes of our friends. Mm -hmm. Anytime you see white speck in the part of the eyes that is black, it could mean cataracts. Mm -hmm. And if you see such in the eyes of anybody, then it should be reported immediately. And you see, mm. the good news about this is that it can be corrected by simple surgery. All right, that is where we're going to put an end to this segment of Side Ed. I do hope you had a wonderful time learning about how to care for your eyes and the eyes of your loved ones. Once again, I remain your host, Adi Pojufei, on Side Ed. Stay blessed. <music>